Hey YouTube, it's the Blind Scholar, and this is episode 4 of Black History Uncut. Please hit the like button, it's free after all, and who doesn't like free things? Also, leave a comment down below to help build engagement for my channel. And if you want to be notified when my next video drops, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. Now, with all the housekeeping out of the way, let's get into today's topic. Sergeant William H. Carney was a war hero of the Civil War and the first black to receive the U.S. Medal of Honor for protecting the greatest symbol of the United States during the war, the American flag. Born into slavery in Norfolk, Virginia on February 29, 1840, Carney and his family, although unclear how but many signs point to the Underground Railroad, gained freedom and they joined his father in Massachusetts. There, he secretly got into academics despite the laws and restrictions that prevented blacks from learning how to read and write. He also joined the church in the hopes of making a career out of it, but when the Civil War broke out, he joined the army on March 1863 and was assigned to Company C, 54th Massachusetts Colored Infantry Regiment, the first black unit recruited in the North. Thinking that the best way to serve God was to help fight to free the oppressed. He also served with 40 other black men, including two of Frederick Douglass's sons. Quick side note, a regiment consists of 10 companies of 100 men, so Carnay's regiment was a thousand strong. A few months later, Carnay's training would be put to the test in his unit's first major combat mission in Charleston, South Carolina, where on July 18, 1863, his regiment will lead the charge on Fort Wagner, located on Morris Island, South Carolina. During the battle, the unit's standard bearers and color guard, those who bore and protected the flag in battle, were shot and Carnet, standing just a few feet away, saw and scrambled to catch the flag before it hit the ground. For those confused about why a flag falling to the ground is important, let me explain. During these times in war, it was considered a great honor to carry the flag in battle and prevent the colors from hitting the ground, as that was a dishonor to the whole regiment. Suffering from several grievous gunshot wounds, Carnet kept the symbol of the Union held aloft as he crawled up the hill to the walls of the fort, planting the flag in the sand at the base of the fort and held it upright until his near-death body was rescued at which point, Carnet was quoted in saying, Boys, the old flag never touched the ground. Carnet lost a lot of blood and nearly lost his life too, but his actions that day inspired and boosted the morale of every soldier there, which was crucial in the Union securing victory at Fort Wagner. And for his heroics and valor, Carnet was promoted two whole ranks from a private to a sergeant, but his most significant achievement receiving a U.S. Medal of Honor, which sadly only happened much later on, May 23, 1900. Carnet died on December 9, 1908, at Boston City Hospital of complications from an elevator accident. Under the wishes of his wife and daughter, he was buried in the family plot at Oak Grove Cemetery in New Bedford, Massachusetts. Carnet was an exemplary soldier and an even more steadfast patriot. His actions on that battlefield showed a love for his country and strong belief in something greater than himself. This story was quite inspiring as I have great respect for the military and his veterans and I will be doing a few more videos focused around the military and black people's role in it. That being said, I hope this video was informative and so hit that like button leave a comment, and if you want to be notified when my next video drops, subscribe and hit the bell icon. These likes and comments help push my content into the algorithm and brings more exposure to my channel. This is The Blind Scholar, see you in the next episode of Black History Uncut.